Okay, y'all. There's some more. Um, that's something else I wanted to talk about. I wanted to get this off my chest also. So I said, let me go ahead and record this while I'm driving to the courthouse, y'all. Um, well, I see that um, Candy, her and Todd's wedding wedding is going to be on in June or whatever. I'm gonna look at it because I didn't look at Nene's um, wedding. I don't know why I think I was just tired of. I don't know why I didn't, I didn't watch that Nene's and Greg wedding. And I could be wrong for saying this, but I I always said I've always said that you know, like I said, just me. But I've always said that you know what I bet you Nene and Greg just to stay in the media and to get that money. And this was and I you know they probably figured it was a good business deal. I always felt that they got divorced on purpose just so they can come back and have a wedding on Bravo just like um Kim did. I could be wrong but that's how I feel. And then now I see Candy, you know, got married and I was surprised that um hers is going to be on Bravo also. So I'm like, oh okay, so whenever you get married, you can go on Bravo, you know, and have your wedding on Bravo. And you know, Bravo probably pay for all of that stuff. I don't know about the ring, but you know, I'm like, okay, good business deal. And um I could be wrong, but mark my I mean it it I could be wrong, but I'm just saying. So if it happened in the future, you're gonna be like, you know what? See, Kane said that years ago. I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised if Kenya do that same move. Just to stay in, in the media, just to stay relevant. I wouldn't be surprised if Kenya hired her or African prince to marry her. Or you know, the African prince probably paid her to marry her. So it can be on Bravo. So we can all watch it. So I know I'll be watching. Just think about it. Just something to make you say, hmm, that's how I feel. But anyway, I want to talk about um, Apollo and Portia really fast. Now, women out there, like I talked about Candy, if you are Candy, I want to talk to you women out there, if you are a Phaedra. If you are, you know, you don't speak a lot like Phaedra and you don't really know how to come back and read and put people in their place like Phaedra, I'm going to need you to get in the mirror and practice how to put people in their place i want you to practice how to read because again apollo is an asshole now that that little shit he be sent on tv about well you roll with me you can walk what husband said it today what husband said it today on wife you roll with me so you can just walk and when they was at that um the resort or whatever and she was they like they like they um they was not out of their room and Porsche was telling him to go get the key and all of that stuff and he was talking back he had an attitude about that what the husband does that shit okay let me tell you what you need to do before you get with any man in a long-term relationship or be or married you need to realize and figure out his you no know, what kind of man he is you know he, he got a um problem with talking back to people even you, you're not exempt to anything, so he's talking back to you and shit. So you need to um practice on how you're gonna put his ass in his place. Hold on, y'all. You need to practice how you're gonna put him in his damn place. Just because um okay, say for instance, like Apollo. You know, he arrogant as hell, talking back to you no know, people, even his wife. Phaedra should have put his ass in his place. Y'all, it looks dark, but every time I upload it, it's bright. It brightens up, so I hope it's not too dark. Let me move back over here. Phaedra should have put Apollo in his place a long time ago and told him, look, like I said, practice, and be like, look, goddamn. You might go out in the real world and talk to people crazy or whatever, but Apollo, you're not going to talk to me like that. I'm your wife. You will respect me. I'm not going to stand for it. You're going to respect me, talk to me like you got some sense, Respect me and I respect you, and that's how it's going to be. That's how you do that shit. And if you say, you might have to say it a couple of times, but eventually he should get the the idea and be like, you know what, she she right? Cause he can go out in the real world. Go, y'all, I'm, I'm I'm my voice is, I'm raising my voice and stuff. But y'all, Paulo can go out in the real world and and act arrogant and crazy and talk to people like he want to. That's fine if that's how you are. But when you bring your ass to the house and you talking to me, Nick, well, you better lower your voice. You better respect me. You're going to treat me like the queen I am. You're going to treat me like your wife. Because, you know, me and my husband, we've been together for a long time. Like I said, we don't argue. We don't fight or or anything like that. But, shit, maybe twice a year, he might, you know, snap at me or whatever. And I had to put him in this place, like, maybe six months ago. I, I'm like, I'm like, what you say? 
So I went, you know, went in my little room and, 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 and thought about it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to let him know. And I told him. Because I, I had, a, I knew he was going through something at work. So he brought that shit home and, and you know, raised and, and said something something to me crazy. You know, not, you know, no, no, not out of my name or anything like that. Just raised his voice and snapped. So I was like, you know what? You need to get that shit together. Because something been riding, riding you for a while. I know what it is. It's that issue at work. You need to go to work and fix that shit. You need to handle it because you will not snap and raise your voice at me ever again. You ain't never done it. You're not finna start that. And he was like, you know what, baby? You are so right. I'm so sorry. I, I That's why I love you. I, you. You know, you need to, you know, I need somebody to put me in my place sometimes because, you know, he be going through some crazy shit at work and I'm like, look, if you don't fucking like it, you need to leave. Or let them folks know how you feel. And they don't fix it, you need to go somewhere else. Because the work he do, um, he left one company to go to this company. And they promised him all kinds, of, all kinds of stuff to come to this company. And they haven't gave it to him yet. So I'm like, you need to let them know. Y'all going to give me what the fuck y'all promised me? Or I can go somewhere else. Because it's lying. It's, I mean, every company in Houston, they, they know of him. They, they'll call him today immediately. They want him to come. But he's the type of person that he's loyal and he don't, you know, want to just go from company to company to company. Because the one he was with before, he was with them for years and years and years, baby. And then he went to this other company and, yeah, they ain't gave him everything they promised him. So I'm like, you need to get that shit straight. Because the other company he left, they want him back. So, but you ain't got to stay there. But yeah, your man or whatever's talking to you crazy. You no, know, if they ain't never done that, they going through something. You need to put them in their place right away. But, um, Phaedra, yeah, she she needs to, um, get get some, get some tough skin back. She needs to toughen up and, t and put Apollo in this goddamn place. Because he's, he ain't nothing but a little boy. He's just so arrogant, a little boy. Yeah, he go to the strip clubs and stuff and... I'm just recording the damn cop right there pointing his little gun. I'm going under the speed limit. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, yeah, get that shit straight now. Don't let your, your man talk to you crazy. Don't be no phaedra. But anyway, y'all, I'm here, so let me go in here and talk to this judge. Um, All right, y'all, I'll holler.